outside then and we're going to walk into Carlisle. So sausage putty first and then we'll head off. Right, let's look it on the map. Starting in the village of Colbeck, we head out on our final day on the Cumbria Way. We start with a slight diversion due to a landslip near Colbeck, but soon get onto the official route. The day will take us through or close to a few small villages, but one of the main features is the river, which we trace through woodland and farmland on our way to Carlisle. It's a gentle low-level walk, which is good news for us as this day is particularly windy. In a similar way to day one, this route is relatively flat to finish, but has its own challenges as we work our way towards Carlisle. On the run into Carlisle, there's time to reflect on the whole journey and think about the previous few days. Each one has been quite different and has its own special challenges. We continue to head north along the route, we reach Bookerbank, and then it's not far to the village of Dalston, where we have planned to stop for refreshments before completing the final stretch to Carlisle. As we approach the city, the countryside gives way to the urban features of factories and houses, and Carlisle Cathedral comes into sight. As we head towards the information centre and town square, we reach the finish point, and that's the end of our journey on the Cumbria Way. Right, let's have a look at it. Just heading out the campsite now. It is directly on the Cumbria Way, so if you stop here, you're not wasting a step. <laughs> so we're going to make our way down the final run. To start off towards Carlisle, about halfway-ish, there's a town called Dalston, so to stop there, get a cup of tea. That'd be a nice break. Uh, today's relatively flat. It's about 17 degrees, is it? 17, 18. And the main competitor today is wind. <laughs> so, a bit of a breezy one, but we're not on the top, so good news for us. It's a very comfy night last night. That is uh, a great little sleeping pod if you can get it. The village is quite nice. I wasn't expecting anything of Colbeck because I thought it would be a bit rural, but it was really nice. Shop was nice, pub was nice, uh, accommodation was great. So I'd highly recommend that if you're doing this. Start and working our way up a little bit to start off with and through the woods. And we've left Colbeck behind us. This is our view back, so Colbeck's just there. You do get some height quite quickly. Just after the campsite, there's uh, a little section where there's been a landslip. So we're gonna have to go just above the Cumbria Way for a little bit and then head down. So it's only a short section, but I say it's kind of a landslip and it's crumbled away. So I have to go around for a little bit. Still, we get that view coming back. <laughs> and shooting up here. So there should be a little path. This one taking us a tiny bit higher. Oh, it's a deep dark wood. Deep dark, muddy wood. On this detour, the, uh, the campsite starts 150 metres. From there, you go up on the normal path, and that would be to 200 metres. We're going to have to go above it, so this is going to go to 250. So, a bit higher, but it's okay. Steady path. Go look at your phone at the detour. So we're going from Coldback, that's the normal route. We've gone above here into Parsons Park and we're taking this route across the top to avoid the slippage. Then we'll come down near Sedbergham. <laughs> 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 right, into a field of unsolicited cows. Uh, Okie dokie. Not my favourite, except with them burgers yesterday, they were really good. This is the park. And just what we need, ideal. A load of inquisitive cows. There's a sign on the gate which says suckler cows and they might become defensive of the uh, calves. Can't really see any calves but you know easy enough to walk around so we're going to do that. From here you can see back into the hills where we were yesterday. So came over there on day four and then Day five, we're heading down here. We should be on the lower path there, but it's blocked off. So, across the tops, a bit windy. 
Look at that. Sunshine. There's the view back to the hills there. All right, so we've hit the crest. Now we're heading back down to the official Cumbria Way. Uh, it's unusual. <laughs> right, there you go. Sheepies, it's quite a view. You all right? Do you want a hand? Loop it. Oh, loop it. <laughs> Two person job, that. That's a good view, isn't it? Going down. There's the valley. I feel like we're on the home straight today. All right, so we've headed across this field. Lovely valley down there. Then we're over this stile and cracking on. Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> That's bigger than it looks. <laughs> Alright then, on we go. We're heading to the oak tree. And we're over this little strange style. <laughs> Cobbled together this one. Ooh, I've got day five legs. Another weird one. What's happening here? One's a gate, or whatever this is. I might try this. <laughs> it's a weird take on a style. There we go. I'm trying to pick this path out, but it's not very distinct. But there's a tumble down old building there. And I can see a little bit of a path up here, so that's where we're heading. Well, that's the view. Wow. Look into that. That's the view back here. There's the hills on day four action. And now, following that, uh, looks like one person that's been down there. It's not a very watched path. Right, so we're somewhere down there is Carlisle. Yeah. <laughs> we're heading down. As you can see ahead of us there, no more hills. So as soon as we come off this, we're on the flat. Way. There's the hills that way. The middle section of this, days two, three, and four, are the hilliest. You definitely feel like you're in your national park there. So what we're doing today really is walking out the national park and carry on up the rest of Cumbria. So we'll get to Carlisle. And then we can get to the square where the official finishes. Skirt on the edge of this wood and then we're back down to the official Cumbria Way. Rowan tree there, look at that. Very. I'm kind of tracing it on an app using oil trails, which is quite precise. And if you add things that were sort of uh, normal paper maps, you might not see all these routes on it. So we did pass someone earlier on, didn't we? Yeah. That had a paper map and they were following that. But we've not seen them since, so I think maybe they've not had the advantage of uh, following an app and you can be a bit more precise because it shows you more paths. Anyway, paper maps are good, uh, but apps also give you a bit more detail close up. So when you're off route like this, doing a bit of a wild one through the countryside, <laughs> then yeah, probably uh, more helpful, I'd say. It's gonna be a nice day today. Uh, so it's gonna be a good finish to the walk for us. Thanks for watching the walk so far. Hope you're enjoying it. We're gonna walk through a couple of villages and then find our way to the official end of the Pennine, not Pennine Way. <laughs> end of the Pennine Way, end of the Cumbria Way. <laughs> 
So when we're in this wood, this will get us back on the official path. Right, we're just through the gates and we have, we're here now. So we're back on the Cumbria Way. But we've come from Colbeck and we actually did this and then took that through the farms along across the top. That's closed due to impassable landslip. And so we're back onto it now. And look at that, a field full of Jurassic things. And Alison there <laughs> inspected them. Look a bit like rhubarb, but they're not. I've done about 5k now on the, uh, the unofficial route to get to here. So now we're just gonna head straight through village and then we can get on the way. But route like this, pretty flat now, so hopefully speedy. Oh, nettles. Oh, I think I'll be all right. Oh. If you have done this, then just let me know which was your favorite day as you were going through it. And uh, if you're thinking of doing it, but you've not yet, then it's video five. So let me know which of the videos you like best as we've gone through the days. What's it for you, Alison? Day two. Yeah. What did you like about day two? The um, time with the flag and obviously the weather made it better than that. Get into civilization. Over the bridge. Oh, windy. This is the river called you. What? Called you what? <laughs> called you. Sebagum. <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Sebagum. Sebagum? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right, we're going down here to the church anyway. <laughs> Looks uh, Rural. When I think about the Cumbria Way, I think, oh, that'll be well walked. But I've not really seen that many people at all on it. And these paths don't look like they've been walked very much either. Anyway, we're up here. We're on our way to the church. Bit of a steep up this actually, just for a little bit. I've gone up about 50 meters or something. Whoa. <laughs> Steep in it. After that little mess, we're heading down here to the church. Nice easy path. Getting to civilization again. People say about day five, or it's you know not the favourite day. Uh, but you've got to say that you are walking into a town, so all the backs of factories and all that kind of stuff is what you're going to see as you go through. Uh, but it's been a nice walk so far, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty walk. There we go. That's St Mary's Church. And we are turning here to go down here. Oh, little sign there. What is it telling us? Pull it by the way. Bell Bridge, three quarters of a mile. Even at low level, it's really windy today. You can see all the trees moving around there. And we're only at about, I don't know, 150 meters or something. It's on the tops, be crazy. Oh, a little challenge. <laughs> there we go. Oh, a lot of sheep. Cows, the little tiny cows. go. Cows again. <laughs> Let's get over the bridge then. Woo, there's the river. Gentler than ones I've seen the last few days. Oh man, the wind is really strong. Let's get down here out the wind. Whoa. 
of this. Don't feed the horses. We won't. <laughs> On this section, we're following the river for quite a way. So it's just down there, babbling at the side. It's a nice little river walk. This is Japanese knotweed. Just try and keep it off me. Whoop. A little bridge. Aggressive shot. There you go, sun's out. Lovely, lovely day. Reminds me of walks around Cheshire type, this kind of thing. Fields of wheat, so a bit like day one. Looks good in the wind, doesn't it? Look at it going back, look at that. There you go, rippling wheat. Must be going different crops because this stuff is ready. Looks like wheat to me, but the other one, not quite. Yeah, must have done this one sooner. That's ready for a, ready for a combine harvester. The big feature of this section is the river, which you do follow for quite a way, so there aren't any mountainous views to enjoy. You can certainly enjoy the river though. All the river birds there. Trying to catch a few flies. We've walked from the field through a gate and it's taken us now through this Riverside walk, I'm going to call it. <laughs> it's quite thick vegetation. Whoa! Scratchy on my legs. Oh my god. <laughs> right, it's a uh, bit eroded as well. You're right there. <laughs> this is a bit weird. Well, you could just walk in the field out the side. <laughs> but you know, I guess this is it. If it's sunny, a bit of shelter. What's going on here? It's crazy. <laughs> Why is this happening? It's an interesting little path anyway. <laughs> Nearly got washed into the whoop. <laughs> that was going to end up in the river for a minute there. A little wooded glade. Yeah, it was right on the edge. Some of it was over the edge. Well, this Japanese knotweed knocking about. Up and snake being attacked. Oh, little tiny bridge and some cows. Black and white ones this time. <laughs> I do like the barbed wire here. Uh, if I was going to draw a cow, that's what I'd draw. <laughs> a black and white one. Yeah. Okay, now here's our next challenge. Uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's an obstacle course. Right, what are we doing? Right, Alison's going to watch me and then <laughs> probably do something completely different. <laughs> uh, no. Onto the... Jesus, that is... Uh... Right, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Let's have a look. <laughs> there you go. Right. Next one. <laughs> oh no. Hang on. Just about. No, with a log. Oh. <laughs> Got some stones there. There you go. Over oh, with a log. <laughs> Sign to Rose Bank and Rose Castle is just behind those trees there. So from here, up these little steps to the road. Oh, you're in a little prison there. 
Whoa. Uh, it's a tight one. <laughs> Can you get through? <laughs> the river's still accompanying us all the way. There you go, you can just see in the distance there, that's Rose Castle. At this stage, most of the way to uh, Dalston, so over halfway. I think we'll be about an hour and a half, and then we'll be there, try and get a cup of tea. All right. <laughs> you're, you're achy. Okay, well, a cup of tea awaits us in Dalston. At this point, we're moving away from the river and we're starting to head a little bit into the countryside again. That's our views going forward. It's a little bit farmy and that's kind of where we've been today. So along the river and then way over in the distance. Just see how windy it is today. I was trying to get the drone up a couple of times to do the river, but it's just too breezy even down at this level. What I have a chance to notice though is all the little flowers that are popping up at the side in the middle of August. So they've done this field. That's gone into harvest. The combine harvest droughts. It's a summit we'll know soon because it's on that sign. There it is. Limehouse School. Wonder what the fees are for that. Right, really straight over through this fancy gate. There you go, Dalston. Straight on. Sheepy's coming up. You're getting a cream tea in Dalston. <laughs> that tree's having a nice time, isn't it? I'd never seen a sheep eating a tree before. Was it a sheep or a cow eating the tree? <laughs> cow eating the tree. Yeah. I'd never seen that before. Wasn't it, weren't it? I didn't know they had trees. That one was a bit of a it's like a bulldog. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, not getting me. Right, let's get in here. family. I think we're about halfway now. Alison disagrees. Thinks we've done more. <laughs> I've not got to die. <laughs> Might be wishful thinking, yeah. Because uh, of the diversion, so I'm not sure how much that adds to this day. But we're just short of Dalston, probably about half an hour to go. We'll be there, something like that. So yeah, it's been a good little run out so far, I think. I've enjoyed it. I'll say about, about halfway. Uh, it's been nice scenery though. I've seen a lot of people complaining about day five going, oh, it's a bit boring, but it's not mountainous, but the river's keeping you company. See that change in the first half. And then we'll see what the second half brings now. What's this fancy place? Someone's house. Nice. Oh, wonder what job you've got to live there. Far. Farmer. <laughs> Uh, what's going on with this? Oh, some weird double lock situation. Dalston! Mind your boobs. <laughs> right, sweeping curve round to Dalston. Right, here's another gate for you. Ah. Getting there, that's the shot back. So it's all the way down there, and the river is just on this side here. And this is definitely over halfway now. <laughs> what do you think? I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little sheep there. <laughs> Not a black one. <laughs> We set up about a quarter to nine this morning. 
and even with the diversion we're getting into Dalston at about 1.30 so just going to find something to eat there and continue on our way just getting back to a bit of civilization now there we go Fancy windmill. You've got this in the garden. Yeah. Well, I should have that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not that big, though. Right, bit of cross me there. Boop. Right, this then is Booker Bank. So we should be coming. The bridge end in in a minute. There's the bridge end in. Looks, doesn't look very inny to me. <laughs> Looks more like a garage. Oh no, there you go. Bridge end in, that makes more sense. <laughs> Which I live, I crow. A quote from somewhere. Let me know if you know it. Looks alright, that's not it. Yeah. Alright, so with that behind us, we're heading over the bridge and the river down here. We're in the village now, so let's see what that's got. That's quite quaint now. A few nice little uh, well kept gardens. Mad chef. I'd like a bridge over to my house. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Lovely. Willie's Wood. <laughs> the first bit of industrialisation we've seen in it. Yeah. Coming in here. Looks like it's still an operating something or other. Quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet today. And today is Friday. <laughs> and they've all gone to the pub for dinner. Bridge over. Yes. Nice sort of park area we're now coming to. We're just getting right into the village. Well, this is it. Nice looking little place. Colts just there. And up here, oh, must be a Scarecrow Festival going on. There you go. Dalston 20th Festival. Looks like we've arrived on a festival weekend then. Let's see what delights we've got here to eat. There's a pie shop there. Carrot meats, hot pies. Oh, and there's crumbs. Looking crumbs, see what they got. Oh, well, it's quite a board. So let's see what we got. <laughs> That's the pulled pork wrap. <laughs> Just you got this now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I want that instead. What have you got? A box of salad? Yeah, chicken mayo salad. Right. Very nice. We're leaving Dalston. Got about four and a half miles ish to go, and then we'll be there. So let's see what the rest of it brings. I guess it's this one. A few sheep there still. <laughs> bit of the rural mixing with a bit of the urban there with an S Cafe factory in the background. <laughs> so we're definitely walking into the town now. Gonna get a bit more industrial. Double sided nettles here. <laughs> Whipping in the wind, it's like one of the Indiana Jones things for the Temple of Doom where they try and get you. Stay away from me legs. There's the Nestle factory there. So this is a flat, a stable path. We're essentially back joining the river again and that accompanies us all the way to Carlisle. Next thing we're going to come to is Commersdale and Commersdale Green. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. There's the river joining us again. 
that's going to accompany us all the way to Carlisle. Looks a bit quieter now, doesn't it? Yeah. Must have got a bit wider as well. This section is quite long and straight, uh, but you know, to be honest, we're just kind of zoning out and getting into the walk going along, thinking about the next place we're coming to. Which I've not been, because I've not been to this end of Cumbria before, so nice to see it. And on day one, hadn't walked most of that really. So again, good to see new places on this, see the whole county. So coming up to Cumberdale and this is definitely a bridge construction that's going across. You can see both points on it there. So I'm not sure what road that's going to be. There's some flowering nettles. Just spotted those in the path. That's something you don't see too often. Still walking down the side here. Definitely getting more urban. If you're doing this last day, we're probably um, a couple of miles outside of Carlisle right now. You've got to understand you're walking into a town, so you can see a bit of urban stuff around. What you've got as you come in is the more naturey river side of things over there, mixed with the urban side over here. But past those factory units, you get back onto a quiet riverside path. And there's just that side of us. These little orange things. Got about 35 minutes to go, and then we'll be at the finish. So <laughs> it's been <laughs> it's been a long walk, <laughs> and if we're thinking through it, day one, um, bit of a thing through the farms, trudge through the farms on day one. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit of a confusing start, I would say. I would, I would say this route isn't particularly well signposted, despite what anyone says, but it's less confusing on days two, three, and four, because it's pretty straight, and there's not many other places you can divert off to. But yeah, day one, a bit tricky. Weather was a bit dodge for us, so that's probably the trickiest day, I'd imagine. And day two, good day. Yeah, best day, probably best day for me as well. Day two, really enjoyed it. Got to see the town at the top. That was the shortest day as well, in terms of distance. So yeah, good sunny day. And then day three, uh, over the top, it was quite a stiff climb to get up. Uh, the weather was a bit windy for me, but going down, it is good views. And I know that area quite well, so it was nice to see how all the other walks that I'd done before were connected up. Because uh, I've been on the Cumbria Way like several times, just on bits of it, because that's where I was walking. So good to see how it all fits together. Day four again, over the top, bit of a steep climb, nothing much about, but good views out. And then day five, pretty flat, really going long. Uh, it's a flat, straight route. The river's here at the side all the time, and that's uh, one of the main features of the day. And also, this time of year, you see all the new flora and fauna about the place, so nice to see. Um, so although there is a bit of industry on this final straight, that's fine. It's the same kind of thing you get around the edge of any town. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to the centre, because I've not been in and spent any time there. So let's see what that looks like. It's baby seagulls. <laughs> Look at them all. It's like the birds. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> oh no. Get pecked to death half an hour from Carlisle. At this stage, even though we're in <laughs> woodland, uh, right by the river, we're about a kilometre off the end now. So if you watched all five days, then thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you choose to do this, then uh, yeah, I hope you got something useful out of it. And if you have done this, just let me know in the comments and what you thought the best days were and what your best bits were. All right, let's head into the town then. This is it then, civilization. We've found it. <laughs> Crummersdale Homes.
someone's into the pots. Yeah. Did a good job of them. I didn't manage to get mine out this year. There's the bridge then. That is our final water crossing. So there's the main bit of the city over there where we're going in a sec. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we could get the train. <laughs> There we go, back in the urban jungle, historic Carlisle. Right, so now we're going to work our way to the historic quarter. There we go then, let's get down here towards the cathedral. Carlisle Castle, eh? Carlisle Castle. There you go, there it is, historic Carlisle. Well, historic quarter. Well, well, there's the cathedral, shrouded in trees. Big sandstone one. Town centre. We are here in the square at the finish point. There we go, so that's the official end point. Three people been up here. Boom, made it from Alberston. Alright, so that's the square. And that's the tourist information. Now you can sign yourself in there. Yes. Cheers. So that's the Cumbria Way in five days. Uh, I've had a good time, my feet are a little bit sore. So if you enjoyed the videos, then it helps me out if you click on the like. And if you want to see more of these, then just click on subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.